previously on MTV No Filter. I'm really happy that you're moving to a new office. I love my job. I love being their manager. I just don't love being their babysitter. <coughs> Oh god, my tuberculosis is acting up. She's definitely told me, like, oh my god, I just spat up blood. I don't understand why she won't, like, physically, like, fully do something about it. That's how people die. We have a doctor appointment for your lungs. Health is priority number one. I feel like you don't really care. I mean, honestly, that's a thing to say. you. Scavern. Whoa. Oh my God. Hey. Ashley and Amari are here. Wow. Well, welcome. Walk in. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so It's so cute in here. So Jordan just recently moved out of our pool house office. Rest in peace. But he's moved on to bigger and better things. This is mine. And um, oh it's so much bigger than I thought, honestly. I know. Low-key, Jordan's new office is kind of like banging. It's like in a nice ass building with a nice ass view. This is so much better than the pool house. Why didn't you do this a long time ago? Well, I could do this. Yeah, you can do that. What did you guys get for like a housewarming gift? We got to do those signs up there. World's best manager, world's worst manager. Oh my God, you did. Yeah, Which one so do you think I should bring out today? I think today. Worst. <laughs> Absolutely worst. We got a bone to pick. Um, why, what's up? I'm sick of sending Sean Mendez DMs and not getting noticed because there's no blue check. Your name, your company name is We Are Verified. Right. Well, it's the name of my company, We Are Verified. Yeah. Right, right. but we aren't. Yeah, we really aren't. You are. We're all verified. That's the. That's why I named it that. We don't need blue check marks to be verified. We are. Tell that to Instagram and Twitter algorithm. Yeah, tell that to any company I DM, <laughs> like wanting some on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever social media platform it is, I feel like someone's taken more serious when they're verified. And then it's also just like kind of a flex on like, oh, the people that thought you wouldn't make it. Verification actually occurs because they want to get rid of people who are faking accounts. And then they also want to verify people who actually are in the public eye in actual publications in yeah. Yeah, media. And we are, like, we are there. I feel like we'll grow so much more if we have check marks. Jordan better pull through with this verification, otherwise I'm taking that We Are Verified sign and name of the company, and it's going in the trash. I am completely on board, and I agree with everything about the ver verification. I want to be verified. Like, I do get it. The main way to get verified is to have reputable articles written about you. So what I need to do is go online and find every article about Amari, Ashley, and myself, compile them, and then send those in. All of us are going to be verified very soon because that's what happens when you reach a certain level. I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm more so worried about like your work and careers and what you guys are doing, right? If we start increasing consistency and viewership, your rates go up. So instead of getting, you know, $10,000 for a two minute shout out, you get 15,000. And the truth is, yeah. if you guys do consistently post, I'm not joking, it will more than double the amount of revenue that you guys made last year. So I think that should be a huge goal as well. Not gonna lie, since Jordan has left, I feel like everyone's work ethic kind of has slowed down a little. It's honestly just because now you don't have to worry about Jordan walking in and like you have to be like terrified because he's gonna be like, where's your video? And you're gonna be like, like <laughs> I want you posting one new video on YouTube a week. Do you know how many that is per year? No. 50 something? 56? 54? 57? School systems have failed us. <laughs> I was great in high school. Yes, so was I. Yeah. We both had really good GPAs. I can yeah. show you my diploma. I graduated high <laughs> honors, bitch. I can tell. Unfortunately, there is no way in hell that Ashley and or Amari are able to post once a week for the rest of the year. That will never happen. That being said, I still want them to be verified. So I will hold up my end of the bargain regardless of their impending failure. So you've committed to one video a week. You've committed to one video a week. Yeah. And you're gonna get us verified, right? On God? I don't believe in God. I believe in hard work. <laughs> if you guys don't uphold your end of the bargain, I'm changing the name to We Are Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Could I get um, your last white grape white owl? And can I get this lighter, please? 
Thank you. Oh my God. Do you want me to do a haul of all that I got for all the blunts I'm gonna smoke after the doctor or should I just? I'm driving Tana to the pulmonologist today uh, because her chest has been a chronic issue for about a year now. She can't stop coughing and we need to get to the bottom of it. So many. <clears throat> I got white grape. My favorite, to be honest with you. Am I happy that Tana decided to buy numerous things to smoke while we're on the way to a lung doctor? Um, no, but my main objective is to get her to this doctor and have her seen by a medical professional. <laughs> I also got some branch corn nuts for our lunch, because you know health is well. <laughs> at least this was corn at one point. Like at some point though, like mm -hmm. we probably should discuss how like, you're gonna need to take a break from smoking. I will never want. But like, Tan, it's not, like, it might not be an option. Momentary lapses of not being happy are part of everyone's life. It's like my life is just so stressful. That's my stress relieving outlet. It's far better than a lot of things I could be doing. I just don't see myself stopping. It's actually like suicide. Have a corn that, ma'am. Have a corn that and yeah. shut the you f up, man. That's true. Five out of five doctors will probably recommend that Tana stopping smoking is the correct medical decision. Now, marijuana is legal in the state of California. Tana is over the age of 21, so fundamentally I don't have a problem with her smoking at all. The problem is when you've had this kind of an issue for this long, how smart is it of you to continue doing so? <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> For us, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna look at Instagram. Who the is us? Oh. Um, we're gonna read so many captions. I really don't wanna go to this doctor's appointment. I'm nervous. I just don't wanna do this. But it's something that you just have to do as a human or you'll literally die. But it's crazy, I guess, because my parents would never, like, we would go to a doctor and then they would be like, oh, bill us, and then, like, never pay it. So I would always go to a different doctor every single time. Isn't that crazy? Jesus. I have a really bad like PTSD towards doctors because I grew up where I would be on my deathbed and my parents would be like, we're gonna scream at you at the top of our lungs for being a terrible child. And then you're not gonna have school lunch for the week because we paid for your doctor's appointment, you know? I might throw up. I have so much anxiety I could throw up. Stop thinking about it. I'm having a mental breakdown. Okay, change your mind, okay. stripped. By who? Jack Vallier. When Tana went to an urgent care, um, a doctor told her that it could be tuberculosis. I haven't done much research on that, and I wanna keep um, you know, the possibilities at bay right now to not get myself more nervous, I guess. Or is that what's But obviously, it's a possibility. I'm being really serious though, just so you know, while I think that you do know that I do care, like this is not a question for me. Thank you, ma'am. I know you care about me. Just like for real though, just so you know. What? Like that, like oh, for real. Lord. What? Oh, like, I, oh, I, oh, do you love me? You. Oh, <laughs> the fact that you uh, can't say I love you is so adorable. You can give you I'm serious. I'm super grateful that Jordan cared enough to make the appointment, but I feel like everything everyone says to me, I don't trust to an extent because I've just lived a life of seeing what happens if you trust people. I always am kind of like, okay, well, we'll see if you do. I think actions speak louder than words. Oh, f man. Um. I'm so happy we're here. I have no idea what's wrong with me. I know that symptoms like incessant, crazy coughing attacks and spitting up blood and coughing up mucus at all times are definitely all symptoms of things that aren't great. So I'm nervous. <laughs> Arriving at the doctor's office, Tana seems okay. She's not freaking out, which is a really great sign. Oh, it's gonna be a little cold. 
just kind of going with the flow. So, so far, so good. Like, this hurts so bad. I hope they figure out what's wrong with me in this one appointment because I am never coming back. Oh my God, can you take this off me? I can't do this. I'm sorry. Okay, man. Like, that hurts so bad, I can't. I'd literally rather have a cough. I kind of want to leave. Would you be mad if I just left? I would be beyond mad, yeah. Like, mad at me? Yes. Like, that was so painful. My arm literally hurts so bad. I don't want to go through this. Like, at some point, like, you have to, like, deal with it. But if, like, more, like, inconveniences happen like that, I'm probably gonna leave. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I don't know what to say. I can pretend like I like it. I can pretend it's normal, but I hate this. I was never raised or conditioned that this was normal or to like it. And now I'm just at a point where stuff like this gives me so much anxiety. And it's also just, like, the PTSD of doctor's offices of, like, my whole life. Like, when you're sitting there, you can't run from that kind of stuff anymore. Hannah? Hi, I'm Dr. Shaya. How are you? Tana, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They told me that you're having a problem with a cough. Yeah, I've had, like, a chronic cough to the point of, like, coughing so hard I'm gonna, like, throw up. And I've been to, like, several urgent cares to treat it. I've been on, like, a lot of antibiotics for it. When I lay down, it feels like there's water in my lungs. Okay. And then the cough, are you bringing up anything? Um, sometimes it's, like, super phlegmy for, like, a week, and then sometimes it's super dry. Okay. Then tell me a little bit about your smoking history. Um, I smoke a lot of tobacco-related products. I don't smoke cigarettes, like, daily at all, but I smoke a lot of marijuana, which obviously comes with, like, tobacco leaf. Okay, vaping? <coughs> no, not really. Okay. So what we do here is pulmonary function testing, where you blow into a machine. You know, we can get an x-ray today as well. If you're interested in yeah, that, then I can actually okay. show you everything today as far as results. Awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank you. Like, he's so nice. I just, yeah. like, I hate this. Are you kidding me? You have to blow into a tube. Yep. Miss Dana? Okay, I'm gonna come and get you now for chest x All right, right cool. cool. I've spent the last, like, eight months running from this. Now I'm finally here in the doctor's office. It's like, this could be real. I I I've never really wanted to leave somewhere more in real life. I can go as hard as I can and work all day and try to pretend like everything's fine, but when you're taking a test like this, it's right in front of your face and it's really emotional. It's just, it's terrifying. So the first thing you're gonna do is normal breathing, and then you're gonna take a deep breath after that, okay? So go ahead, insert in your mouth, and just pinch your nose a little bit, and then just normal breathing, and then take a deep breath in, and exhale, forcefully. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. You're almost there, almost there. Take a deep breath in. It really sucks taking a breathing test like this and just knowing that as hard as I'm trying to do this stuff, I can't. Go ahead, we believe from here. Hang on to it. Oops, careful. I just hate not running from this. Like, when you're sitting there, you can't run from that kind of stuff anymore. Okay, deep breath in. <laughs> keep going. Just keep going, don't stop. Keep going, keep going, just keep going, almost there. Faster, 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 faster. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And normal breathing. Okay. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> you okay? You okay? Any dizziness? Yeah, I like can't see. Try to get as much oxygen in. I know, I just like can't get any in, it sucks. <laughs> This is a big deal for Tana, and it wasn't just the fact that it's a physically tough thing to do. She actually has a lot of trauma from being here and doing any of this. So I am proud of her in a lot of ways for getting through this.
This needs to like go down so we have like a good angle. Oh my God, being a YouTuber is so f***ing hard. Look at all this work that we have to put in. We told Jordan that we would post one video a week on YouTube at least. So today it's time to make a video. What's up ladies and gentles, welcome back to my channel. We are gathered here today with Knockers herself. Round of applause, ladies and gentles. Round of applause She's for here, Knockers. They're here, they're here. Ashley's really good at makeup, but she takes like two hours to do her own and anyone else's. So we're putting her to the test today and seeing if she can do my makeup in 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes on the clock. I chose this video idea because the footage will be roughly 10 minutes, which means it'll be really easy to edit and I can just burn through it really fast and get that one video out for the week and meet Jordan's deadline. So give me my verification. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so nervous. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> this is intense, this is intense. I can feel the intensity. It makes me really happy to collab with Ashley on my channel because one, we are such good friends and we've never, I don't think ever filmed a video, just the two of us for my channel before. Close your eyes. Oh! And because Ashley cracks, so that means more views for me, which means bigger check. Wow. You know, don't say I'm not talented, hello? With her support, I can make a solid grand off of this video and ad revenue in like a week. How many minutes? 43 seconds. No way! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, where's my lipstick? Where's my lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. How I look. Oh! Oh! It doesn't look that bad. Wow. You actually did way better than I thought that you would do. I'm gonna go walk the streets of Hollywood Boulevard now, and I will see you in the next video. Hey! Bye. And she's off. I have to like, clean this up. I know. Do you think I should leave this makeup on for when Tana gets back from the doctor? I would say yeah, but at the same time, like, this is probably gonna clog the in your pores. Like, I just put so much on your face. Yeah, honestly, you're right. <gasps> it kind of. Ow! I was gonna say it feels like sex. Oh! What the f Yo, if Tana comes back and like tells us she has tuberculosis, like, everyone's life is over. Yeah. Like, what? That's gonna be so scary. It'll be okay. Tana has become the most important aspect of my life and, and the biggest aspect of my life. I have put almost everything on hold to help her and to further her career. And it's not, it's not a burden to me. It's what I want to do. I would be devastated if something were to happen to Tana. Hello. Hello. So we got uh, all the tests done. How are you feeling? Great. Right. It, 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 it wasn't that bad, right? Right? Oh no, it was terrible. But I'm like <laughs> only because of my own defaults, not you guys. You guys are all wonderful. So I have uh, I have results for you. First of all, your X-ray looks clear. Okay. The lung volumes look good. The blood flow into the lung look good. Your muscle strength look good. So that is all good. Cool. But your breathing test does show that you do have airways that are what we call constricted. So I do think you have a component of asthma. This is probably turned on by some type of a viral infection. So I'm not concerned that you're going to have long-term issues. And what I'm going to try to do is get them back to normal and then let you get back to your life. Is there anything else that it could be other than just restriction from asthma, like TB? So TB is a little bit different. You know, most of the time with TB, we will have uh, fevers, night sweats, coughing up blood. I've had like periodical fevers, but I've also just been sick periodically, yeah. so I guess it, yeah. yeah. I don't dismiss it as a possibility. I don't think it's our number one. The TB test certainly can be done. I don't want to do that. Um, all right. So the question is, is, is really how to treat you. My recommendations to you is to actually give you an inhaler. Okay. So this one would be two puffs twice a day. Give 10 days and come back. Okay, yeah. Can we just, yeah, get going, please. Can we, are we good? Is there anything else in terms of care that we should like be doing? Sorry. Can you please stop asking questions? Dude, this is honestly like, I want to know this. Yeah, as far as care, of course, not smoking is best. 
Uh, I what I, okay. I'm just saying, I mean, as far as what else I would do, air purifiers would be amazing. Sure. I feel like as soon as Tana heard the word asthma uh, as being the diagnosis, she kind of checked out. But having the diagnosis doesn't cure your symptoms. There's still work that you have to do. All right, so I'll let me do this. So it's yours. OK, awesome. Let's get going. All right, pleasure. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. All right, sure. Awesome. Oh my God, it's gonna take 45 Isn't minutes. that insane, like the amount of time we've been like like putting in energy to this? Like, oh my God. I'm not, I'm not coming back in 10 days, by the way. That's insane. Especially over asthma. I have asthma, I'm fine. I have asthma. I think it's like, perhaps it's there's funny. that. It's not funny though, people die from asthma. Go kill me. I don't care at all. There's nothing you can say to make me care and I'm not gonna pretend to care. I, what is wrong with you? I might as well have just gotten a clean bill of help. Tana, that's ridiculous. This is something that has affected her in a really negative way. It's affected her musical career. She can't wake up in the morning. She's having coughing attacks. This is more serious than just labeling it as asthma. I'm not gonna make any changes to my health. I don't really see myself as someone taking that kind of medicine right now. I gotta be honest, like, even saying that, like, people who heard that would just think you're a idiot for that's fine. That. No, I'm serious. That's the, like really stupid. I, I mean, I guess asthma is better than tuberculosis. Tana, we asthma, literally just had the conversation, though, about how you need to start taking care of your health and, and making sure that you're doing things to not die. It's severe asthma, and the fact that you think that means you can just go on not caring about anything is super frustrating. Well, thank you for that piece. I'm glad you got it off your chest. I got a lot of things off my chest today. Earn that and get it, because the jazz has my <laughs> Clearly, she doesn't understand that this is serious. Like, it really is concerning that you don't give a Because I don't care. Why would you not care about your own health? Why would you not care about not coughing? Like, doesn't that bother you to cough? Stop pressing me. Like, why don't you care? You have to care. You do care. No, I don't. I think Jordan always thinks he's doing what's best for my interests, but he doesn't take into consideration like me, my feelings, what I'm capable of. Our lives were just so different that it's hard for us to see eye to eye on something like this. I'm so excited to let Ashley and Amari know that I literally just have asthma. I know they're gonna feel the same way as me. Trevor, Amari, Ashley, like all of them have been like insanely worried. Like we've been talking about this a lot. I know, about, it, like, it's really cool to see how many people in my life are actually really worried about my health. Like it, that was yeah. very sweet. I really hope that Tana's friends are there for her and understand that this is something that's been really pulling everybody down for months. So I'm really hoping that they can be on my side with this and let her know that this is something she really needs to focus on herself. And now I just want to eat fast food, smoke weed, tell my friends, and listen to some music. I literally love caffeine, but I feel like I'm like tweaking on the side of Hollywood Boulevard at the same time. You are. I can't believe she actually went to the doctor today. I wonder like what the f they said about her lungs. Dude, yeah, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also so excited to like, actually find out for once. I'm surprised she didn't call us and be like, Guess what, bitch? Like, it's probably something bad, but maybe not too bad. <laughs> hey guys, did you hear us come in? I'm so excited to see you. Oh my god. <laughs> a party for dinner. A party oh for dinner. Don't sit on the blunt. Don't sit on the blunt. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a little confused right now because Jordan seems more reserved and he's kind of being quiet, but then Tana's over here, really excited and like happy. Maybe Jordan has tuberculosis. Can I just have like two seconds with this blunt alone? Like honestly, if y'all could look away, we're having like a, like a moment. Mm -hmm. Wait, so what happened to the doctor? I actually like really want to know. Yeah. Yeah, it gets the bag. I got asthma. That's you asthma? It? That's literally all that's wrong with me. I have asthma, like temporary asthma. Like here's an inhaler. Oh. That's it. She has asthma, asthma. Are you kidding me? It's just been asthma this whole time. Like you could have just had an inhaler and fix everything. So what do we do now? Do we have a party? Do we go to a hookah lounge? Should I f my lungs? <laughs> <laughs> like spice, salvia. Me talking to my lungs like, oh bitch, you can handle it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs>
I mean, I'm hoping in some sense that their attitudes are based on Tana's relief, right? And they want to share that with her and be in the moment. That being said, they also need to understand that they've all witnessed a major health issue for a long period of time, and this is not a joke. That's not just it, though. Like, it, you guys have all seen like how bad it's gotten it's like, like, in I've terms seen, of her coughing. Well, yeah, her she life. hasn't been treating it. She uses this for 10 days, exactly like the doctor told her, like there's a chance that it gets better. I feel like you're not gonna use the inhaler. Like she I feel will. like you don't care. Yo, I agree. <laughs> yo, yo. I was saying this the whole car right home. Yo. I don't care. <laughs> and you can't make me care. <laughs> like, dude, at some level though, like as her friends, like straight up, like we're having fun, but like she's dead serious and does not give a about her health at all. Well, her asthma is so care. regular. Like everyone has, I, I, I yeah, have it. Like, like literally everyone has asthma. I have yeah, it. I have it. Why would you want to be sick your entire life and be coughing like that? That's insane. I'd probably feel the same way if I were her. Like, I'd Do you like, agree? Like, Am I taking I crazy pills? Guys! She doesn't have tuberculosis, it's just <laughs> asthma. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I was hoping that I'd have like an extra infantry like to back me up when we got there, but they they pointed their weapons on me. All jokes decided is kind of serious. Yeah. So like I'm gonna take it kind of serious. It's hard for me to care, but I'm gonna try oh, to care. Oh really? I'm surprised. Yeah, I don't really mean this. I just know MTV wants it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, dude, you have to like oh, actually okay. care. Should I send you Snapchat yeah, stories of me doing it every day? No, I'm literally oh, taking it home with me and I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not f***ing up. Jordan, I don't know what you want from me. I'm super, super, super stoked that something really hard to control is not wrong with me. I will attempt to make it better even though I do not care about it. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna bring the inhaler home with me tonight and I'll bring it back to Tana tomorrow. And then the next day, and the next day, and then for seven more after that. You didn't get all butyrol. They gave you a full-blown steroid medication. Let's get back to the celebrating, you know, like you, you went a little off the deep end there. <laughs> On the next episode of MTV's No Filter. The reason I was drinking is because there is something very deep and dark inside of me. Trevor decided to get sober, but recently he had a relapse. Gianna! It feels like everyone's just trying to sit in a circle and see who can get the most trashed. I feel like I'm in a cave. <laughs> <laughs>